Did you know that the city of Opalaka was designed to resemble a city in the Middle East? This neighborhood has a crazy history, so learn more on today's episode of Miami Mondays. The city was conceptualized by an aviation pioneer named Glenn Curtis. Glenn Curtis was inspired by this collection of Middle Eastern folklore called A Thousand and One Nights. So he decided to make an entire city in Arabic and Moorish architecture. And now the city of Opalaka has the largest collection of Moorish architecture than anywhere else in the Western Hemisphere. Apart from being inspired by this collection of Middle Eastern folklore, he also needed a marketing tactic to attract buyers into the city of Opalaka. So he also wanted to ride off of the success of the most popular silent film at the time, which was called A Thief in Baghdad. So he built an airport, a train station, a zoo, an archery club, a golf course, a pool. He built it all and completed it in May of 1926. Unfortunately though, the Great Miami Hurricane passed that exact same year, just four months after everything had been constructed. So most of these newly built structures were destroyed. And then in the 1930s, Glenn Curtis died. So it just kind of went downhill from there. But don't worry, Opalaka remains to be one of the main transportation hubs of Miami. And out of the four airports that Miami has, Opalaka has the largest private one. They've also got a train station that services the tri-rail. And out of the 100 structures that Curtis built, only 20 of them remain, and they are registered under the National Register of Historic Places. The city has recently received funds to restore all of these beautiful structures, and this could prove to be a very valuable asset for them. I mean, look at this tile and these structures, they're amazing. Make sure to check out my other episodes of Miami Mondays. I have over 60 of them. I'm Caro the Tour Guide at your service and I'll see you guys next Monday.